Howdy doodly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the view of us. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a recap of one of my order ideas because I think I've reworked it. Yes, I think this is mind blowing. Anyway, what is this idea around? Ship customization! Heck yeah! Yeah, so I did an older video for this some time ago on how I felt it could work. So if you want to see that old video, people in the view of us, it's up there in the top right hand corner. For you guys that want to hear my new idea, stay tuned. Because yes, now that our freighters have had a little bit of an overhaul and we can actually hold up to like nine ships inside of our fleet now, people. I mean, I've got quite some awesome ships inside of here. I'm not going to be using those two over there. I've also got a giant box hauler and um, I've also got a little shuttle as well, which I'm going to be using the parts for inside of this, this sort of examples video. Now I'm thinking all the ships that you own they're all the ship parts that you can play with. Now I'm thinking maybe you just talk to one of the guys on the side of your actual freighter, inside your freighter, maybe there could be a terminal for this chap. You interact with him, the crane all springs to life and you can choose the parts and actually build your ship inside of here. I mean, yeah, these giant yellow big cranes have been added. If you're not too sure what I'm on about, I'll show you what I mean. It's just over here, look, you can see the yellow sort of I don't know, scaffolding, if you like, over there, that big yellow frame. Maybe that could slide in position of your ship, a bit like a 3D printer, start pulling it apart and sticking all the new bits on to your design and your specifications. So yes, I'm thinking maybe do it all on board your actual freighter where you've got all your ships and make it nice and easy or make it so you have to go to a colossal archive. So here I am at a colossal archive called in my ship. You can see here it's an alpha vector. It's got the alpha nose. It's got the vector wings. But say if I didn't like the wings, say I wanted to change the wings out to maybe my boxed hauler sort of wings or maybe i want to swap it to my shuttle's wings yeah i don't know why you'd want to do that but it actually looks kind of groovy in fact i've done just that inside of photoshops here are some of my examples so there you go there's the boxed sort of wings <laughs> i don't think anybody would want that but at the same time you might <laughs> that's pretty cool isn't it and then we've got this one as well with the shuttle wings it looks like something out of star fox or star wing wherever you're from in the world i really like that one it looks rather gnarly so if i was to play around with my own inventory right now with all of the ships that i've got i could make some right nice little hybrids there's a couple in there that i actually really think are quite groovy i mean my photoshop skills aren't all that great and for whatever reason share factory sort of squashed them but i think it gives you a rough idea on what i was going with with the idea here people so what do you do with your cut and shut Frankenstein hybrid monstrosities that you've concocted. Well, you could head on over to the actual station. Now the station override at the moment doesn't do too much, but look at this actual console. There is a red line upon this console. Now it's the flight path initiator. Now it could be that you could insert one of your own cut and shut ships into the ship spawn pool for a particular system. So maybe you might need a base in the system or something and then use maybe the station override or just use the station override ride and you can input it into the ship spawn pool any sort of visitors to that system can then find your cut and shut ship flying around in the wilds inside of the space station there you go flight path landing overseer it would kind of make sense to be able to do that wouldn't it hence why it's got that red sort of error input there so you can input your own ship using a station override or perhaps at the actual colossal archive perhaps there could be an npc here a little bit like chronos you know up on the actual nexus with food where he rates your actual food but instead this npc rates your ship maybe gives it a new class as oh yeah that's an a class oh that's an s class and it could be kind of built on what you've actually done to it which parts you've used i don't know in a sort of similar sort of way that chronos makes up his ideas with food decisions but maybe he appraises your ship puts a stamp of approval on it and even maybe get, offers you either nanites or units or in some rare circumstances maybe even quicksilver to take it off your hands and you can sell it to him which would be pretty cool or you could actually just break it back down into scrap and just scrap that ship so you've got a free slot using this guy here i think that would kind of make sense because you've got all the cranes here or even on your freighter you could have all this happen on your freighter with the right sort of terminal installed i don't know anyway Love to hear your thoughts, put them in the comments. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thank you, new backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.